were covering financial markets have raised fears earlier this year that GE Capital might pull its parent GE into bankruptcy. But GE is still looking at rising write downs and loan charge offs in its commercial real estate portfolio. The fact is that the commercial real estate market is increasingly uh, negative, and they're going to be hit by that. And they're going to be their growth rate is absolutely going to be impacted by that to the downside. Sanford Bernstein forecasts that commercial real estate business could suffer a total of four billion dollars in losses from loans and equity investments between now and 2011. That's over a three-year period. Now, if the recovery stalls, he estimates that number could rise to as high as seven billion dollars. Now, Winokur, a bull on GE, says these losses are manageable, but Nick Heyman at Stern AG is highly skeptical. He argues that GE's reserves are far below the 6.2 billion dollars in, in impaired real estate loans on its books, and that souring loans and falling real estate prices could force GE to take as much as a $20 billion write-down. GE has not been required to mark its portfolio and reserve its portfolio like Citi and like Bank America have as federally chartered banks. And as a result, it has a lot more marking to do. Well, GE, of course, is legally a non-bank, and the company has said previously it retains the right to carry its loans to maturity and doesn't plan any write-downs.